Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks, or if this is your first time, welcome to the live stream and to Travel Snacks. I'm Allison Sharp, and Travel Snacks is all about traveling around, eating good food, connecting with one another, using the resources that you have, and living a lifestyle that may be different from what society considers the norm. Whether you want to live in a van, a car, a truck, a Jeep, a tiny home, or an RV or anything like that. And uh, there's nomads of all different types and we're here to celebrate everybody. So welcome to the channel and to the live stream. And I'm gonna put my glasses on and see who's in the house. Uh, welcome Grant is our OG moderator who is always here just doing such a great job. And welcome Grant to Snack Chat Sunday. Hey, Terry, how are you? Be uh, beautiful summer weather in Ohio. Awesome. Hey, Merlin Contemplation. Hey, Nelson, how are you? Good to see you as well. Hey, Butterfly Tracks. Uh, I'm doing really, really well. Thank you for asking. Hey, Charlie's Angel, Dawn. Happy Sunday to you. Hey, Tammy, how are you? What a do DG in the house. If you guys aren't following what a do DG, which is my friend Annette, you need to follow her YouTube channel because she's awesome. Uh, hey, Chloe, how are you? Hey, Charlotte from Georgia. Robbie's in the house. Robbie's another one of our moderators uh, who does a great job every time. Whoop, whoop. Um, awesome. Welcome, Robbie. Hey, uh, there's two Robbies. AGT is Robbie, the moderator, and then looks like Robbie Kyles. How are you? Hey, Wes, how are you? Hey, Dana from Alabama. Awesome. Alabama's so pretty to me. Um, hey, Rebecca and Sammy. Um, that's awesome. You're welcome. I'm doing wonderful things. Awesome. Hey, Shauna from Maine. Awesome. Yes, good vibes. Um, hey, Wayne from Tennessee. Tennessee is great, too. There's a lot of places that I've been that's awesome. Um, thank you all for being here. Um, <laughs> last week, I, I showed you my new shelves up here. Where is it? Right here. And they're supposed to be for plants, which I haven't gotten yet, but now... I'm, I've started to put some of my leftover fruits and vegetables up there and my kombucha. <laughs> so I guess it's like a little, you know, holdover spot until I get my plants. But I'm actually glad I had it because I bought too many fruits and vegetables because I'm trying to like stay more healthy. And so it worked out really well because I ran out of room in my fridge. Um, so awesome. Hey, Fred Flintstone. Thank you. Hey, Marianne. How are you? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to show this one on the stream. I'm the OG Robbie. Amen to that. Okay, so if you are on this live stream and you haven't done it already, throw a like on it. Also, if you're brand new to this channel, the snack pack is really awesome. And I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but I mean, joining the snack pack is really cool. So if you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because the notification bell helps to know whenever I upload a new video or do these live streams. And I'm really kind of considering doing some more live streams during the week um, because I was just talking to Grant about this earlier. Um, and I was just thinking like doing them on Sundays is great. And I love our, you know, our regulars and we all know when to come on and everything. But there's a lot of times where I'm in different places, different beautiful spots, and I want to show you, like, in the moment what I'm doing, like, whether I'm in, like, a lake or, you know, an ocean or the mountains or whatever. And it'd be cool to just, like, go live just at that moment instead of just scheduling it out and planning it. Um, so I think I'm going to, we'll see depending on time. I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm really considering just, you know, like I did in the past, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know, sometimes I used to just go on my phone and just use my phone with my little, you know, handheld tripod and walk around showing you like where I'm at. And so I'm considering doing that because that'll, you know, allow me to show you more as I'm doing it. Um, so anyways, the point of that story was make sure you have your notification bell on because then you'll know whenever I do go live, it'll alert you. And if you have, you know, if you're in a quiet place or in a place where you can watch it, then you can just join the snack pack. So yeah, so do that if you haven't already. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Candy, how are you? Thanks, Grant. I appreciate that compliment. I had it in braids, just two braids, and then this is what happens when I take my hair out of just the two braids. It just gets like all like, you know, wavy, which I like this style too. Um, hey, Daya. Hey, Kayla, how are you? How are you doing? Hey, Lori from Wichita, Kansas, in the house. Oh, shout out to the water alar alarm. That means I got to turn on my water alarm on the sound. Usually it just like, you can see it right here. It just pops up and I don't hear the sound until I do the live streams and then I turn my sound on. So it's on now. So we'll see. Sandra's in the house. How are you, Sandra? We need to catch up. Give me a call whenever you get a chance. Hey, Brenda. Um, let's see. Uh, Grant says more field trips. Yes, I do like doing the field trips. Um, and so, you know, it, I think that'd be a, a good way to show you um, a lot more because, you know, filming a lot of like content for just videos, I film a lot, but I, I honestly don't even post, you know, as much as I can because of the editing time. So doing the live stream would be much less editing to show you more things. Also, I want to start talking about like legit topics, like nomad topics and traveling topics, um, food topics. And so I think it'll be uh, great to start filtering in some of that stuff instead of just talking about myself because I get bored talking about myself and what I'm doing and all that stuff and I want to know more about what you guys think and just some of your experiences so if I have topics it, it kind of lends to to open it up a little bit more okay um let's see Renata Rapson hey also my parents and I are watching from London Ontario sweet we're Canadian snack packers love your channel Cheryl Bill and Renata awesome I love it can't wait to get back to Canada. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Marianne just got 12 baby chicks. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much for the compliment. Hey, Joanne from Elliott Lake, Ontario. Um, Kayla says travel topics would help me. I like to travel. Awesome. Uh, yeah, throw a like on it if you guys haven't already. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, where am I at? I am in, where am I? <laughs> I'm always like, I travel so much that sometimes I'm like, I get confused about where I am, but I am in Denver, Colorado. Um, I've been here for a few days and I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I first came through Denver, I was like, this don't seem great. Um, but the longer I've been here, the better it's become. Um, and there's some really nice places in Denver. Uh, I'm going to stay here for probably a few more days um, and then get on the road. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going yet. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going north. I was going to go to Colorado Springs, but I think I'm over it. Um, so uh, another reason I'm staying in Denver is because uh, there's a few things that I needed. Um, just like random things that I needed. So I placed an order with Amazon and I'm getting it shipped to an Amazon locker. And it can't it won't be here until Tuesday. Uh, so I'll for sure be here until Tuesday, probably Wednesday. Um, so I'm excited to see what else is around Denver. Um, so yeah, that's where I am. And it's so great. Like it's funny, but it's also not funny because I put a message out to the snack pack on the community tab. And I was like, Hey, if anybody is in, you know, the Denver area and wants to meet up, uh, send me a, a message. And there were so many concerned people. Um, hey, Jake, welcome to the snack pack. Um, glad you're part of us right now. Um, yeah, so many people were writing on the comments like, be careful, there's a lot of evil people in the world, don't do it. Maybe you shouldn't meet up with people. And I had mixed feelings about that because I've done meetups in other states uh, and I didn't have that same, um, that same like reception to my message. So I don't know if it's just Denver and people know something about Denver that I don't know, or people are just concerned in general from now on because the world's gotten worse since I did my last meetups. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't end up meeting with any snack pack random people that I've never heard of. Um, I think I am going to meet up with one person that's, I'm not even going to say because I don't want to like put it out there, but I think I'm going to meet up with one person that's been part of the snack pack for a while. Um, so, but we've got to work that out. Um, so yeah, 
I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Do you think it's just Denver or like, what was the major concern? Um, and obviously I wouldn't, wouldn't like meet anybody in like a basement or a back alley or anything like that. <laughs> like if I meet up with anybody, it would be in a, a total, uh, public place and, you know, I'm usually pretty conscious about my surroundings, but I, I totally appreciate the concern and the messages. Like I didn't take it, any offense to it because I know people are definitely trying to be, you know, uh, cautious for me. So thank you for that. Um, let's see. Is your name going to say, yes, it's going to stay there until I come up with a better comment. <laughs> hey, Len Lover. Uh, I'm going to get back to you soon. Um, whoop, whoop. Shout out to the mods. Yes. Jake says, uh, hi, Travis. It's been a while since I've been dealing with some health issues. Oh, no. Uh, we'll say a pray prayer for you. Hopefully your, your uh, health is improving. Uh, Renata says, we would meet up with you if we were closer. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, yeah, I'd like to meet up with more people. Um, it just depends on like timing and location and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Grant, damn, I guess the meetup in my basement is off. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe, maybe don't do a, a meetup in a basement. That seems a little ominous. <laughs> um, let's, let's put that up on the screen. Um, all right, let's see. Okay. So I am in Denver and, um, yeah, I'm doing fine and, um, yeah, it's been kind of good to just be in one spot for a little bit because I've been driving so much trying to get to like one spot so I can just gather my thoughts and get back on like focused on making videos and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so it's been really good. Um, I do want to say that, um, I'm just going to jump right in today with our topics. Uh, I stopped in cause I was in Grand Junction, Colorado, and I was driving to Denver and I stopped in Vail, Colorado, which is supposed to be like what I've heard of, it's like supposed to be like fancy, you know, like ski town. And it was really cute. Like there's still snow on the mountains and it was really beautiful, but I was hungry, you know, by the time I passed through there. So I stopped to get a breakfast burrito and I have a gripe about breakfast burritos. And I don't know about you guys, but breakfast burritos, you know, it's got to be the right ratios of things. And I mean, we might have talked about this before, but it's a very, it's a topic I'm passionate about. So when you have a breakfast burrito, in my opinion, you need to have a nice tortilla, some cheddar cheese. You need to have some nice scrambled eggs, but not too dry and not too wet. And then you need to have, I know people like bacon and meats and stuff. I don't care for that. You got to have the right potato on a breakfast burrito. To me, I think hash browns are the best. Or if you're going to do fries, they need to be crisp on the outside and you know just tender on the inside they don't need to be all greasy and wiggly and weird that's gross so i went to this place which i'm not going to say because it didn't turn out so great i got a breakfast burrito and on their menu online it said that they used hash browns so i was like legit i'm getting that so i ordered it with no bacon and you know just a breakfast burrito and when i got it the eggs were overcooked they were like where it was like kind of burnt on one side uh and they put just like slices of cheese like on the tortilla instead of shredded cheese and the cheese wasn't even fully melted and then they put like fries that have been sitting in the basket for a while so it wasn't great it was it was not even good and it was like it wasn't even cheap because I, I forget how much it was but i want to say it was like nine dollars but i was hungry and i didn't want to like stop and make something i just wanted to you know kind of go through veil and get some food and then keep going and I was disappointed because I feel like I wasted my money. So how do you guys like your breakfast burritos? Because is it just me or like, I don't like when they put like the big chunks of potatoes in there. Like they do like the home fries, but they're like, like almost like not cooked enough. Or if they're cooked too much, it's mushy. It's got, I don't know. I don't know why people don't spend more time focusing on good breakfast burritos because it's a hit when it's good. Uh, let's see. Hey, Roy. Uh, I'm just getting over COVID. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you're getting over it. Definitely. Uh, 
uh, Daya, my mom is doing a lot better. She's doing a lot better. Um, thank you for asking. Yeah, there, she's really improved a lot from even from what the doctors were saying, like they were thinking she was going to be worse and she's been doing really well. So thank you for asking. Um, you know, it's just been like a slow process, but definitely she's doing a lot better. So thank you. Um, hey, Amy, how are you? Oh, my gosh, your dad's help getting a wheelchair lift. <laughs> we could use your dad's help getting a wheelchair lift out of our new van. Oh, man. Um, it wasn't, it was difficult, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought. It did take quite a while just because we didn't really know what we were working with. But I thought it was going to be like a million times heavier than it was, but it wasn't like the most heavy wheelchair lift, but it was just awkward to get out. So I hope you guys can get it out. Um, Robbie says, I come from a long history of drunken breakfast burritos. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, who has the bre best breakfast burrito? Oh, dude, I don't know. That's a good question. I will say, like, in terms of fast food, you know who has a good breakfast burrito? Is, um, Carl's Jr. They're, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like their, oh, it's called, I think it's called their loaded breakfast burrito. Now, it has all the meats in there, and I personally don't like to have just a bunch of meats in, inside the burrito and I think it's all mixed already so you can't ask to have them take that out but they, it's good because they put those little like hash brown rounds so inside of the burrito so it's it's crispy so it's delicious and another place that has really good breakfast burritos is Whataburger those two places have really good breakfast burritos in terms of like obviously like some of the um, hole in the wall places you know just in general like in the United States those probably those are places that usually have better breakfast burritos, like little cafes and diners and stuff like that. But you never know. You never know. Um, hey, Heather, how are you? Happy to be here for the live chat live. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. I don't like to spend money on gross food. Yeah, me neither. I was really disappointed. Grant, you prefer your breakfast burritos in the trash. You don't like breakfast burritos. How dare you? I can't even believe this. Breakfast burritos are the awesomest thing. Roy says, my favorite breakfast burrito is Del Taco. I don't even know if I've ever had a Del Taco breakfast burrito. I'm going to have to check that out. It depends on where I am at, and who got the breakfast burrito. Okay. Yeah, I think it, it really depends. I usually try to read the menu ahead of time, like if I'm going to pick like takeout and see what's what's all involved. But sometimes they still don't do it that way, and it's like a bummer. Uh, Thomas says, welcome from Northern New York State. Awesome. Hey, Holly Fitting from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Awesome. I haven't been to Wisconsin yet. Oh, Adriana, we need to talk soon. How are you? How are you? My favorite breakfast is chichulin. Chichulin. I don't know what that is. Uh, so long as it has eggs, cheese, sausage, potatoes, I'm always in for breakfast burrito. Awesome. Jake says, I am in Georgia. It depends on where I'm at. Oh, awesome. Georgia's also really great. Uh, hey, Frank. X, X Chris in City of Commerce is pretty good. Oh, okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. Hey, Glenn. Hit the spot diner on West Cole. I don't know where that is. Uh, Robbie says, has anyone got hungry and spent $30 on Taco Bell? I mean, if you are in like a mood, you know, for Taco Bell, you know, you can, especially they have raised their prices, you know, so you could probably end up spending a good deal on Taco Bell. Uh, you know, cool styles. How can Grant not like a breakfast breeder there? I know. I don't even understand. We had to talk him into trying cornbread and at least he liked that. So he's not out of the group. So <laughs> it's okay. Um, Hey, Christina. Love hearing about your travels from Sussex. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Deb G, how are you? You haven't really missed anything. We're just talking about breakfast burritos. Oh, West Colfax in Lakewood. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I think I know where that is. I'm not sure. Um, I'm getting the notification that we're live on YouTube. So thanks, YouTube. Um, also, real quick before we keep going, if you do want to make a donation to the Snack Fund, you can do so by just hitting the little dollar sign under the live stream, um, or also you can use PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, which you see listed there. I think Grant will probably post the link to PayPal. Um, never feel obligated or anything um, to make a donation, but if, if you'd like to support the channel, it usually goes towards gas or food, 
uh, and that really does help and it is a true blessing, but don't ever feel obligated to do it. Um, so I was just like to mention that if you'd like to donate, you can. Um, all right, so before we get too further past these breakfast burrito conversations, um, thank you Grant for posting that. Um, the next live stream is gonna be next Sunday on May 1st, unless I do one in between now and then, but the next scheduled live stream is gonna be on May 1st and I'm super excited because I already have a mystery guest lined up for that live stream. And it's going to be epic. It's going to be so awesome. Like, I'm just legit happy and excited. So make sure that you're there next Sunday because it's going to be a good one. Um, and I'm super excited for it. So um, next Sunday, May 1st, will be the next scheduled live stream, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Eastern, <laughs> and all the stuff in between. Um, <clears throat> awesome. I just want to make sure that I said that right up front. Um, Let's see. Hey, Danielle just subscribed. Welcome to the snack pack. Everybody welcome Danielle. Uh, Robbie says, I feel better now after last week, 27 personal Taco Bell order. Tomorrow is Monday and my goal is to eat $45 worth. What are you getting? What are you, what are you ordering for $45? Because I, if I go to Taco Bell, my general order is a bean and cheese burrito, no onions, no sauce. I know that's no flavor, but I just like plain beans and cheese. And, or sometimes I'll get there like grande, is it like nachos bel grande with no meat, extra beans. Um, I used to in the past sometimes get their, um, their Mexican pizza, but I think they discontinued it. And sometimes I'd get their seven layer burrito, but I think they discontinued that. Um, yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff, but their, uh, their prices have increased and, and their burritos have shrunk. I don't know if you've noticed, but their tortillas have gotten smaller. So Taco Bell kind of lost me because they've been doing weird things and trying to save too much money by cutting back. Um, Frank says, JB Burgers in Monrovia has a real good chorizo burrito plate. You know, I don't think I've ever had chorizo. <laughs> I know, it's probably shocking. Uh, it's not Shania Twain, Fred. It's not Shania Twain. Um, that would be cool if it was but I'm not at that level yet, I don't think. <laughs> Grant says, be there or be square. Hey, Dora's in the house from the Gypsy Movement. Um, how you doing? Hey, Reverend RV, how are you? My breakfast burritos are the best, mixed with a small piece of butter. You got me already with butter. And mayo, okay, you're, you're, you're onto something. Butter, mayo, and a spoonful of salsa con queso to be creamy. Oh, that sounds like the start of one of the best breakfast burritos. Now you're talking. Now you're, you're talking my language. Oh, the Mexican pizza came back? Okay. Okay. I might have to get that. I don't really like to eat a lot of meat, but their Mexican pizza is good. So I might. $5 Crave Box. Vegetarian. Okay. Okay. I'll have to check that out too. Sweet. They must have had a lot of complaints uh, because you know, it was kind of a popular item. And I think pe some people may have forgot about it and they were probably like, people don't care about that. And then people did care about it. Um, let's see. Sandra says $45 is a lot of money. Bean burrito is my go-to from Taco Bell. Yeah, me too. Just a basic bean burrito. Um, Judy says, did you hear Taco Bell decided to bring back taco pizza? Oh, okay. Awesome. That's so awesome. Uh, Daya says, you have to try the soy tree. So, okay, I'm gonna have to try that. Uh, we're doing good, Dora. Missed y'all. I've been training and missed the last two chats. Oh, no, no problem. Oh, butter and mayo is awesome. <laughs> Robbie says, that's an egg sandwich. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, all right, let's jump into this because I want to, uh, I'm not going to take you on a field trip today, but I am going to just point my camera out. Not now because that guy just rolled. You good, my guy? He's rolling around on a skateboard behind my van. Uh, I'm just going to point my camera out the window, out my back window, so you can see that I'm at a beautiful park. I've already, let's see how many steps I've walked today at this park. Um, I've already walked 10,220, 225 steps today, um, which is 4.3 miles. That's legit. I've been trying to do a lot more walking, eating better. I'm just doing my best. 
Um, so I'll point my camera out the window in just a minute to show you guys. Um, I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see there's a lake behind me. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but I already did a lot of walking, so I'm not going to get out and my shoes are already off. So, uh, that's just going to be the end of that. Um, and then let's see, I'll, uh, let's, we'll get into the topics in just a second. Can't do a breakfast burrito, but love a good beef burrito. Okay. All right. So as long as you like burritos, then, you know, that's, that's fine. Uh, Deb G says, I agree about Taco Bell portions. I asked for black beans instead of pintos. And you would think I said, I was asking for the cash. Yeah. They're weird about stuff at Taco Bell. I don't know. Uh, Dora says, but you know what? I haven't missed any videos and chat playbacks though. That's awesome. Grant says indoor field trip. Um, uh, do you guys want me to show you out the window right now or after we have some of these topics? Which one? It's kind of like a early, would you rather? You could either choose to look outside right now or we can talk about these topics. Which one would you rather? Um, Judy says, I go to Del Taco now because Taco Bell got expensive. Del Taco is delicious and their value menu is great. Facts. I usually choose Del Taco over Taco Bell now because of the same reason, because they've kept their burritos the same all these years and they have a lot of good options. You cannot be a Del Taco quesadilla. You just can't. Their quesadillas are gross and good at the same time. They're greasy. They got that green sauce in there. If they make them right, it's just the right, like, you know, pull from the cheese. Sometimes they don't make it right and it's too greasy and nasty, but Del Taco's quesadillas, so good. Their chicken tacos, so good, although I don't usually get that a lot, but sometimes I crave it. Uh, Del Taco has a great menu, um, and I think you get more bang for your buck there, for sure. So I'm with you on that. Um... Dora says, guys, before she takes us on a field trip, it's that time to throw a like on it. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, Renata says, now. <laughs> Dai says, how's the microwave working? The microwave is awesome. I'm so happy I got this microwave. Uh, even just this, just right before the live stream, um, I had I had cooked some um, some potatoes and I had some leftovers in a baggie. And I just kind of like in the plastic baggie, I threw some butter in there. Um, and some, you know what I did? I, I threw some butter in the baggie and I poured a little bit of vegan ranch dressing in there and some salt and pepper and garlic powder. And I just squished it up in the bag. So it was kind of like mashed. And then I just threw it in the microwave and then I air fried some Brussels sprouts and put on some like balsamic glaze. I was like, am I a chef? <laughs> did I just learn how to cook right now? Cause I was impressed with myself and that microwave was awesome. So it was so much easier than just trying to like figure out if I should steam the leftover potatoes or air fry the leftover potatoes. And the microwave was just mm, so glad I did it. Um, Grant says, would you rather, uh, Robbie says I get three soft taco Supremes, a bean burrito and a burrito Supreme with nacho fries and lots of sauce. That's not $45, right? I don't think so. That. Is that $45 worth? Three soft taco Supremes. That's what, like three or four dollars each? A bean burrito is like two bucks. And a burrito supreme with nacho fries and a lot of sauce. I don't think that's 45. Maybe. I don't know. With the talk about prices now, you never know. Okay, Grant wants to show out the window now. Everybody wants to look out the window now, so we'll do it. Um, when do you lose the light? If soon, then view now. Oh yeah, okay, that's a smart, that's actually a very smart reason to do it now. Okay, everybody wants to show now, so I'm going to do it. Um, look behind you. I can see from the camera behind me. <laughs> She's balling with that lithium. <laughs> I will say that getting that lithium, even though it put me out money-wise for a while, <laughs> it's great to know that I can use all my appliances in here without worrying about the inverter squealing at me. It was a good dinner, Sandra. Like, look behind me legit. Like, why? Is something happening? <laughs> Is it my hair? I don't see anything. Is something happening? Uh, oh, that was $27. Okay. Your goal is to... Okay. Okay. So you're, you're gearing up. You're gearing up. 
Um, okay, so let me show you outside real quick and move this out of the way. I mean, is something happening? Like, I'm legit, like, worried now because you guys are saying to look behind me. <laughs> I don't think there's anything happening behind me. Um, I'm going to put this on there. My goal is to eat $45 worth of Taco Bell. Okay. Um, actually, this is something I still haven't figured out is how to turn my camera around. I'm just looking at the screen to see. I don't want to do anything and mess up the stream. So I'll just have to do it this way. All right, so I'll just have to lay down while I'm showing you. Oh, I don't know. Can you guys, hold on, it's awkward. Can you guys even see out, out the window? Let me know if you can see that. My windows are tinted really dark, so you may not be able to see. But it's definitely like cloudy outside. But it's a beautiful lake. Hopefully you can see it a little bit. And there's like, oh, hold on, let me, whoa. Okay. There's like geese and ducks and um, there's like the water turtles um, and what else is out there? I saw some like little like beaver looking thing um, float, like swimming through the water and then came up out of the water. Um, yeah, so it's really pretty and it's a huge park. Huge. Just huge. You know, so I was able to make two full laps. That gave me 10,000 steps. Um, okay. Nothing is happening behind you. They're messing with Okay. <laughs> and I was gullible enough to go for it. Um, yeah, it is a very beautiful park. Lovely lake view. It looks cloudy. Very pretty. Cloudy. Yuck. I love clouds. Clouds are one of my favorites. Um, but that I just like the way it, like, feels really, like, cozy when it's gray outside. Um, okay, I'm glad you guys could see a little bit. Robbie says he sees a fish. Daya says, very nice. Seeing someone jogging. Yes, there's like tons of people out here jogging and riding bikes and paddle boarding. And um, they rent these little like things where you do your feet and like, I forget what it's called. But, you know, you sit in the little, little boat thing, paddle boots. Yeah, so... So, yeah, I think a storm is brewing. So yesterday when I looked, it said it's going to snow tonight um, around midnight. But then I checked today and it didn't show snow. So I'm not sure if it's going to snow. Um, but I have my heater and my gas tank filled up uh, just in case. <laughs> Thank you, Dora. Grant says, geese, my nemesis. Thank you, Naomi. Or is it Nomi? Nomi Morales. Hey, V, how are you? Uh, yeah, so it's a really beautiful park, um, and yeah, it's been great. Okay, let me look at my notes. Um, okay, so, okay, let's see what time we have. Okay, yeah, because I want to get to games today because we didn't, do, I don't think we did any last week. Um, awesome, 70 degrees tomorrow for you, Grant, that's pretty good. Um, Okay, so I don't know if it was last week or the week before, and I was telling you guys of all the exciting things that I'm planning on doing. I was saying I was going to do, like, memberships and Facebook group and podcast and merch. And then somebody was like, I think you're doing too much. <laughs> and then I was like... I got a few more messages, you know, some people saying they don't care for some of those things and some people saying they do care about some of those things. So I'm going to put a pin in all of that and just pray about it. Um, so I'll circle back around to that, but just know that I am working on some stuff and there is a few bigger things that I, that's in the works that I'm not going to talk about yet. Um, but 
just know that I'm always thinking about like providing more value and education and all the things about nomadic life and stuff like that, traveling and food and stuff. So there's always stuff in the works. Um, and like I said before, I don't, I don't want to keep saying I'm doing all these things and then don't do them. So I'm just trying to stay true to my word. Um, but if there's anything that you guys are passionate about me doing, then send me a DM on Instagram or send me an email to my email address because you guys are the most loyal ones that come to the live streams and watch all the videos and you guys have a pretty good gauge on the channel. Um, so if there's anything that you're like, oh, like I would love for you to do a Facebook group or I would love for you to do a podcast or whatever, it would be helpful to me to know that. So definitely if there's something specific you'd like to see me do, then let me know. Um, okay. I am in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Robbie, we're not, we're not time for, it's not time for games yet. Um, almost though. You could check out the zoo or the natural history museum. Yes. Uh, awesome. 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 Um, Robbie says, I want merch. Judy says, I love your channel because you give us the real van life. Yes. Awesome. Grant says, I'm passionate about snacks. I mean, I'm definitely passionate about snacks. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Chloe's wants the podcast. I'm like, again, I don't want to put any promises because I want to do the right thing by you guys, but I'm pretty sure I'm bringing back my podcast. Um, and I already am working on merch. So those are two things. I'm just really iffy about the, the memberships and the Facebook group because it's, it's more time consuming and I want to make sure that it's worth it, you know? So I'm on teeter totter on those two things. The Facebook group, I was just really more interested in doing so that we can all connect outside of the live stream. Um, but it may not be something you guys are interested in. So I don't want to do it if it's just, nobody really cares about it. Um, so merch and podcast is probably like on the top of my list. Um, and you know, I'm always talking about snacks. So, um, I would love a Patreon feed. I'm thinking about Patreon, but I'm also like, what could I offer on Patreon? You know? So that's something I'm kind of like up in the air about. Hey, Ryan from Cleveland. Um, Grant says a Facebook group, Facebook group would be cool. Awesome. All right. So all the things I've mentioned, it seems like at least one of you <laughs> wants. So I'll keep marinating on those things and keep praying about those things. All right. So let's talk about, um, I already talked about that. I already talked about that. Let's talk about our topic real quick and then we'll go on to games. Um, Sandra says, I like when you share what you use. I have bought the curling iron, straightening iron, and the face moisturizer. Both have been great. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be um, continuing to share like all the things that I buy that I, that I don't like and like because I do buy a lot from Amazon. And if I don't like it, I do send it back because they have free returns on most things. And, you know, people are out living their lives as nomads and they need to know. So definitely. Um, I am in a membership to follow and support those I follow. I love the community page, which lists perks for members. It's consistent money. All right. Awesome. 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 I, I, I just like memberships. I don't, um, I got a message, um, from a couple people saying that, you know, they don't like memberships when they're tiered because it separates people and it's like, you know, people that have more money to give, get more perks. And it's like, I'm on the fence about it because I get that. Definitely get that. I don't like to separate people into tiers, but also at the same time, I, this is work. Don't get me wrong. Like when I do videos and, and traveling, like driving places and, you know, making content, it is, it is my job. So at the same time, I'm like, people are consuming for free. So, I mean, support does help. But again, it's never like, I never expect it. Um, so I don't know. I'm just trying to do the right thing. I do like what Van City Van Life did is he did a Patreon memberships and he kept all the perks the same, but he just said like, Hey, if you'd like to support me for $5 or $10 or $20, whatever you feel like supporting monthly, then do it. But the perks are all the same. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. Or if you feel like if you paid 10 or $20 a month, and you would want more perks or what? So if you're a person that would like to support as a member consistently, maybe send me a message and let me know how you feel about it. Because 
I'm really truly on the fence about that because I, I don't want to, it's hard because I don't want to upset anybody, but I know that I can't please everybody all the time. So it's, it's just, I don't know. I go back and forth about it. Uh, let me scroll back. Ah. Okay. You should create a directory of places to snack as you visit them. That way we can look at the list when we travel to a new place. I've actually thought about doing like uh, an app or a directory. Um, but I got to figure out how, the, what would be the easiest way for me to list those things. So I'll think about that some more. You should sell merchandise, travel stats. Definitely merch is coming. That's already in the works. The whole time my name says I'm eating, I'm eating way too much. <laughs> yes. Oh, you do, Robbie? Oh, awesome. Yes, this is your job, Allison. So you deserve to be supportive for your efforts. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys, everyone's so supportive. So I never want to like rock the boat or like make anybody upset. <laughs> so I'm always like, oh, like, does anyone even be mad if I do memberships? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just something I to work through. Sandra says, you've been, you have been doing more and more videos and I always learn something good. I like sending through Cash App when I have it to give because I think you get the full amount plus it's easy for me. Thank you so much, Sandra. And yes, you've been a great supporter. Uh, Lover, some creators have different levels on Patreon, but all the perks are the same. I like that. And crumb speed is simple, but it's interesting. Yeah, that's how he's doing it. And I kind of like that. Um, don't do tears if it's a hassle. Let people donate what they want. All right. Um, Judy says, I plan to support two channels and yours. Is oh, thank you so much. You make me laugh. And when you go places, I like to go there too. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Uh, what does Nomad stand for? Uh, I don't know what, if that's like, you know, each letter stands for anything, but Nomad is typically somebody that, you know, roams around and, you know, from different places and stuff like that. Um... Oh, Tammy just cashed up me $30. Thank you so much, Tammy. You've been such a great support to the channel, and I appreciate that. Uh, let me give you a shout out. Um, I'm going to give you a hallelujah. Thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, that is so sweet. Um, let's see. Let's see. I think you'd be support surprised how many people would support you. I always miss these live feeds, but I always watch the videos. I definitely. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, Fred, I'm at a, a park in Denver, Colorado. Thank you, Grant. A person nomad equals a person who does not stay long in the same place. A wanderer. Facts. All right. So this is the last thing I want to talk about, and then we'll play games. Um, it kind of goes into this that idea of being a nomad and you know for the past few weeks since I've been back on the road I have not been having the greatest time and I feel like I've made a decision <laughs> oh that's our water alarm everybody drink your water okay so I love making videos I love the snack pack but I feel like I've been chasing states to take, tick them off my list as opposed to in like slowing down what I used to do when I was in my car and just enjoying what I wanted to do, like what I wanted to see and where I wanted to go. I somehow got it in my head that, cause I know a lot of people would always ask me, have you been to all 50 States? And then I would feel pressured to like do all 50 States, not anybody's fault. It's just, I got wrapped up in the mindset of like, Oh, I got to go to this state and I got to go to this state. And people are telling me like all these suggestions and where to go. And it's great. But I realized like why I was so like stressed out is because I felt like I was just trying to get to every state as fast as I can. And I'm just driving and like aimlessly going places. And like, I don't have time to stop and just really enjoy it. Cause I'm just constantly just filming stuff and just throwing it out there. And I was like, what's the difference? Like when I was in my car, I feel like I was such an innocent little being back then. Like I just, just, you know, jumped in my car with my air mattress bed and just like went out driving around and just went to places. And like, it was more like not spontaneous, but just more go with the flow. And the problem with chasing states is 
you're not, it's like too stressful and you're not making, or at least me, I'm not making enough human connections because I've missed several opportunities to like, you know, care down with other people. Cause I've received a few messages recently, like, Oh, where are you? Do you want to go here with me? Or do you want to go here with me? Or do you want to meet me here? And I'm already too far away from those people. So my decision that I've made is that I don't want to travel alone anymore. Like, and when I say that, I don't mean like, I don't like being alone because I really do like being alone, but I don't want to just be out just willy nilly, just driving around, checking off boxes and not having any like human interactions because travel snacks to me is like me and Grant had, like, we just came up with this on a whim. We weren't even trying, but like travel snacks is about bringing people together one snack at a time. And that's really what I always wanted my channel to be is you know, talking about how food brings people together and how like, you know, traveling is so much more freeing when you can save money doing it. And, um, you know, just not buying into the, the lie that we should all just isolate ourselves and hate everybody. And like, you know, just be like, uh, introverted and isolated. It's not good. It's not good. So I've gotten away, like I've gotten away from something that I started out with. And I think that's why I've been so stressed out lately. And I'm not a person that really stresses out very much because I totally just depend on God. And I believe that God guides me through everything that I do. And somehow I've like veered off of that path. And somehow my mind has been just thinking about like, what can I do for the snack pack? What can I, what video can I, I make? And you've probably maybe noticed even like the videos have been like kind of random. Um, and you know, they still might be random to be honest, cause I just film all kinds of things. So I put this out as a cautionary tale that if you're a nomad or you're thinking about becoming a nomad and you want to like get all the States, try to slow down and remember that it's not about just, you know, checking it off of a list or putting like a, a board up on your van or your car saying, well, oh, I went here and I went here and I went here. If you're not experiencing this with other people. Uh, then it's kind of like a bummer <laughs> and you know, not everybody's like me. I know there's a lot of people that like to just stay being alone, like be in the woods or the desert and just don't even care about being around people, but I don't think it's healthy. Um, and that's kind of something that I want to, to do my best to continue to remind people is number one, to drink water and stay hydrated, but number two, to, you know, try not to isolate yourself, even if it, if, you know, even if you think that's the right thing, it's probably not the right thing because we're, we weren't created to be like on an island by ourselves and we need support and love. So let me see what you guys say, because this is like something I was really excited to share with you is just, you know, making sure that we are more concerned about caring for each other and instead of just like, just being in a rush. Okay. Let me scroll back. Um, yeah, nomad is just a word, not an acronym. I didn't think so. Uh, Robbie says nomad, learn to pronounce what? member of a people having no permanent abode and who travel from place to place to find fresh pasture for their livestock. Well, I, I don't have any livestock except for sugar crystal candy corn, which is my mascot. Everyone just Googled nomad. <laughs> That's good. Uh, thank you, Heather, very much. Um, Grant says, you do you and we'll follow along. Thank you so much. Cheryl T says, yes, I agree, Allison. I like it better when you just take your time and see the things that interest you. It is much more enjoyable vibe. Slow down and enjoy, my friend. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I was like, you know, it was just better. Like, like I said, it was just better when I was in my car in the sense of I was just like sharing with you guys my journey. And now I'm like finding myself trying to like, like, Oh, I think they're, I wonder if they're going to like this or what would they like this better? Or should I go here? And someone told me to go to this place and it's too much. It's too much. Um, Sandra says, I hope you can make it to my area of Finger Lakes, New York, or if you get to Pennsylvania state for a while and I will go to Pennsylvania for sure. I want to get to Pennsylvania because Sorgi stories family lives there and Sandra definitely, I want to get together with you again because we had a great time. Robbie says, oh, snap, then come to North Carolina. 
I definitely want to like, you know, meet more of the snack pack for sure. Uh, and definitely Robbie and Grant, who I've never even met yet. I want to meet a lot of you people at the snack pack, but I've never even met Robbie and Grant who are the moderators. And it's just like, these are, you know, things I want to like experience and go to places, different places uh, that would, uh, would love to meet up sometime. Connecting with other van lifers, lifers is a good thing. Definitely. I think slower and enjoy the places are better. Yes. Yeah. Bringing people together one snack at a time. Hey, Janice, maybe it's because you are trying too hard to put out too much content. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't even know if it's the amount of content. It's just like, it's just, it's not even too much content. It's more of like, I'm always concerned about what people are going to like, are going to like. And I think it's, just what I forget who just said it, but, um, it's more like, just do it. Just do what the things I like. I was already doing that before and people seem to like it. So I think it's just doing what, what I wanted to do. Um, I've already been to Alabama before and I would not mind coming back to Alabama because it was really beautiful. Robbie says, I fixed my AC in my shed this weekend. Ooh, awesome. I bet that's got to feel good. Um, Renata says, hope you don't mind us asking and don't feel you have to share. My mom and I are, when well, my mom and I are interested to hear if you used to have a traditional nine to five type job and what inspired you to get out on the road. Yes, I have had a traditional job most of my life since I was 16. Um, and the last job I had, I was at for 11 years. Um, and Honestly, I was there for 11 years and I didn't feel respected and the money never really increased that much, even though I worked very hard. I enjoyed the company, but some of the people there weren't very great. Um, and I always wanted to travel and I wanted to share my travels and like share as much information with people as possible. So I was like, I'm just going to do YouTube. Um, and yeah, so I just kept going and and wanted to do YouTube and show people. So it it I just always wanted to to travel around. And since I've been out on the road, I realize how much more like of a nomad spirit I have of just like wanting to, you know, see more things and be around more people as I do that. So um, yeah, hopefully that answers the question. I am so glad that you are slowing down. You could spend a whole season exploring one state exactly. Like, I really want to go back to Idaho because there was so much more stuff there. And I think that's where I'm going to end up is maybe Idaho. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's a lot more things that I do want to do. Um, and there's, like I said, there's a few bigger things coming up that I, I can't share at this very day. Um, but I'll just say that it's more like, uh, some collabs that are coming up. That's going to be super exciting. Um, and so I'm excited to be around more people. Um, Sandra said, our little group in San Diego was so nice. Having friends nearby or traveling are awesome. I totally agree. My favorite times were being with other nomads to visit places. Exactly. That was such a cool time. Um, just to be like, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? It was just really fun. Um, hey, Takim. Have you been to Stone Mountain in Georgia? I have. A three-day weekend would be nice. Yes. Stone, jo Stone Mountain, Georgia, me and my friend Melinda, uh, we hiked up it, and it was raining that day. So it was a little uh, unnerving, but it was beautiful. I loved it. Um, Hey, Clentine, Clentine Del Taco is great for everything. I mean, that's true. If you drive to Chicago, let us know. Awesome. Whenever I get to like a new place, I'm going to try to be like, Hey, if anybody wants to meet up, but when I did that, people got so concerned. So now I'm like, should I not do that? Um, being alone is never fun. I had the worst time when I had COVID. It was depressing. My uncle passed away, oh no, when I was by myself in quarantine, that made quarantine. I bet that definitely sounds like the worst. It is, it is a bummer being alone. Um, you know, being alone for some time is great, you know, but not, not every day and not all the time. Cause it's like, you need the human connection. Come taste the best pizza in Connecticut. I mean, that sounds great. Cause I love pizza. Uh, Dana says I live by the Gulf coast. Oh, awesome. Yes, YouTube is my only source of income. I do have like affiliate, like some 
it's not like anything really worth talking about, but like I do like affiliate, like if somebody buys off something off of Amazon that I recommend, it's like pennies, you know, and it adds up. Um, so between YouTube and affiliate, like, but the affiliate thing is just like basic. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that I have. Um, hold on. I'm getting a message. I don't know how these people get my get my number but it's like hey Allison I'm super sorry to keep messaging you but you still haven't claimed your free bottle of I don't know what free bottle of brain supplements for free before they're all gone it reverses aging makes you feel younger boost energy let me click this link no I don't know how people get my number but I'm not gonna click that whoa oh Sandra just sent me ten dollars on cash app thank you Sandra that is so sweet. I'm going to give you a shout out. I'm going to give you a victory. Thank you, Sandra. We need to talk soon and catch up. Um, okay. Awesome. 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 Um, Deb G says, yeah, uh, yeah. Whoa. yes, do your life. That's why we are here. Don't live to create content, uh, create what you're living. Yes. I think I just need to get back to that instead of trying to do too many like things people want me to do. When I spent time with you, I thought you did great filming and still being present. The content is the best. Oh, thank you so much. And that was fun. Like I didn't even feel like pressured when we were together um, in San Diego. I would just like film the thing and then we'd talk and film a some more things, but I was having a good time too. So yeah, I think that's the best way. Joanne says, we will enjoy whatever you post. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Robert. Um, Eric from Nomadic Fanatic drives only 50 miles a day and has two cats. That seems to be company for him. Love your channel. God bless. Greetings from Oklahoma. Awesome. I do follow Nomadic Fanatic, um, and he has a great channel. So, yeah. And God bless, God bless you, too. Um, just have fun like you've been doing. When in Indiana, stop by Albany's Candy Factory. It has a giant chocolate stirring system similar to Willy Wonka. No, that's right up my alley. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, I love that God is your guide. Yes, indeed. He's the best guide. Um, Robbie says the best part of the group is when we share good times and bad. That's what makes us a family. That is true. That's why I'm here today. My Prius home is at the auto body shop. Oh, dang. I hope it gets fixed soon. Oh, I got you, Judy. I got you. I get those text messages all the time. So annoying. I know it's weird. Grant says, I think you need to get back to the basics. I mentioned this to you before, but have a look at the very first live stream you did from New York. Okay. Yeah. Grant mentioned that. And then I like, didn't just put it in my mind. So I'm going to write it down. Watch original. I'm just going to put OG live stream. Yeah. I think I might like take a minute and look back at my first live stream and like some of my older videos because somehow, like I said, it's when you're a, a content creator full time, you don't intend to, but all the comments and messages that you get just start just going onto your brain. And you're like, this person said this, this person said this, well, this person wants me to do this. And they said I should do this. And this person donated. So then they gave me a tip. So they want me to do this, but I also should do this, but I'm you know, need to pay for gas and, and like, I want to go here. And like, it's, it somehow just like goes onto your brain and I tell it no. And I pray <laughs> to God to be my guide and push everything else out. And that's just like this week or maybe last week. I just was like, I'm done doing like just random stuff. Um, so that's just what's going to be happening. But I know the main thing that's important to me is the snack pack and you guys are always so like loving and supportive of not just me, but each other. And I am just so grateful that we have this group. So thank you all so much because it's just been great to hear all that you guys have to say. All right. So I know we're running over a little bit, um, but let's, oh, let's play some games. And if, Grant or Robbie, you need to leave. I understand, but let's play some games because 
Um, I have two would you rathers, and so that shouldn't take too long. And I don't mind staying on longer to do the live streams because, you know, it's fun. So for all that can stay, stay, and for all that, 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 that can't stay or need to go, then it's okay too. Um, bye, Brenda. Thank you for being here. Robbie says, let me win a game. Kayla says, slowing down and relaxing is pretty important for overall health. That is so true. Uh, have you ever tasted Jolly Rancher candies? Yes. They are made in Denver suburb, and you can drive to the factory, and the neighborhood smells like whatever flavor there. Can you take a tour? Because that is actually something I would like to do if they have tours. <laughs> Grant, I don't need to leave, but Jackie's asking me when I'm starting the barbecue. Oh, man, you better go start the barbecue for her. Uh, I, I love Jolly Ranchers too. All right. Awesome. Um, let me just figure out which one I'm going to do first. Also, what are you barbecuing? Probably steak. I'm going to guess steak. Watermelon and cinnamon are my favorites. Oh yeah. The Jolly Ranchers. I think... I do like the watermelon, but I like the green apple as well. Yes, apple flavor. Yes. Okay, so here we go with the game. So would you rather, for those of you that haven't played, is I'm just going to give you two choices, and you just pick whichever choice you like, whichever one you think would you would actually do. Now, these are just fake questions. It's not real life. So don't, nobody getting up in arms. <laughs> but it's just a fun game that we like to play. So, um, So let's see. I think they do have tours on the factory. Oh, I'm gonna I'm writing this down. Jolly Rancher. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up and see if they have tours. Um, if none knows, I'm a moderator and Grant is my sheriff. I'm his deputy, so we play. Oh, that's awesome. You guys are so awesome. Okay. Um. All right. So the first would you rather question is, would you rather be a famous child actor? who's grown up and is no longer acting, but people might notice you like out and, you know, when you're out and about, but you know, now you just have a regular job. So you're not balling, you know, out on money, but you know, you had a nice run and people will know you, but nothing's really going on for you anymore. Or would you rather have a famous parent that, you know, is in the limelight and everyone's always like, Oh, your dad, this, or your mom, this, uh, you know, whatever. So you kind of have to live in their shadow. So would you rather be the one that was a famous child actor or if your parent is a famous actor or actress, which one would you rather? Uh, they have an awesome aquarium in Denver. Oh, okay. I don't think that I'll go to the aquarium. Um, I'm trying to save money and not spend money on, on like museums and things like that. Oh, I will say that I got an anonymous, um, anonymous donation gift for member. I was talking about last week that I wanted to get the national parks pass. Um, somebody donated the $80 to get the national parks pass so that I can have that for the year, um, which is super generous and loving and kind. And I thank those people very much for doing that. And, um, I'm going to wait till I get closer to a national park to buy it so that I have it like right you know, like I'll get it like the day before. So then I have it for the whole year. So thank you again. Um, let's see. All right. You guys are coming in hot with these answers. All right. Um, Jenna says it can either. <laughs> um, Robbie says child actor. Jana says child actor. Uh, Kayla says I'd rather be famous. Stephanie says child actor. Sandra says child actor. Stephanie Ann says parents. Daya says child actor. Famous parent, a love child. Actors seem to get really messed up, says Grant. Um, that's true. Um, I'd rather have a famous parent, says Reverend RV. Rebecca says child actor. Terry says famous child actor. AGT says I win. Uh, Heather says famous once, obscure now. Gossip is just too much. 
Glenn Lover, a child actor, no living in someone's shadow. <laughs> Grant. That would be awesome, though. Uh, Reverend says, I'd rather, rather have a famous parent unless he's Will Smith. Actually, when I was writing this question down, I actually had that family in mind. Um, so that's funny that you said that. Uh, Paul says, none of the above. I just want to be me. All right, all right. Ah. All right, so I would pick, like most of you, I would actually pick, I would rather be a child actor and hopefully I wouldn't get messed up like mentally because I wouldn't want not only to be like in the shadow of somebody current, like that's already famous, like my parent. But also, like, if I wanted to do something in the arts, then people would always be like, oh, you just got it because your mom did it or your dad did it. I would want to just do something because I wanted to do it. So, and if you're a child actor, then you might have some money saved to the side if you're smart. And, you know, you have a little savings to the side and then nobody needs to bother you or know you. And occasionally someone might be like, oh, you're that child star from this show or whatever. And it feels like a little nice, but. I wouldn't want all that notoriety all the time. And especially like if my parent does something weird in the news, like some of the celebrities that we've seen as of late, I wouldn't want that. Like I wouldn't want people telling me like, oh, your mom did this or your dad did this. No, I wouldn't want that. So I'm going to go with most of you. Um, but I do understand that a lot of child actors do get jacked up because like it's such a hard road to go down at a young age. But I, I think... I would still choose to be a child actor. Uh, wouldn't want to be a Willow or Jaden either. Yeah, no. Robbie says, I win. Whoop, whoop. OG, yellow on the, no. But the channel name is Heather Trek because of my geek leanings. Firefly brown coats. Oh, awesome. I would like to have the financial stability for my parents and find my own path. Yes. Joanne says, parents be famous. Lisa says, Daniel Radcliffe a.k.a. Harry Potter, Potter is a child actor and still has millions left of his Harry Potter, Potter income. That's very true. And Judy Garland got really messed up by the brutality of the movie moguls. Yeah, a lot of these child actors, like, they go through so much. Just, like, just enormous amounts. So, like, it would be a hard road to go down. So you kind of have to hope that you don't get messed up. Um, ah. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So the next question and last question is, <laughs> this is kind of fun. It's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Would you rather have to cry every day for 20 minutes and it happens randomly? So just randomly throughout the day, you'll cry for 20 minutes or would you rather never cry again? No tears, never. You'd never cry ever again or you have to cry every day for 20 minutes. Which one would you rather? Hey Gina, how are you? And hey Mama Mert, how are you? Glad you guys are here. Janice says, oh, so tough. Okay. Um, Stephanie says, cry every day. Janice says, oops, I scrolled back. I'll do the 20 minutes. Robbie says, cry 20 minutes a day. Rebecca's going with never cry. Daya says, cry 20 every day. Heather says, 20 minutes. Welcome to my already life. <laughs> Bring on the endorphins. Um, Kayla says, cry every day. I'm very emotional. Stephanie says, 20 minutes. Cool stuff says, there is no win in that question. I mean, that's true. But this is the would you rather. It's usually like, it's supposed to be hard. Marianne's going with 20 minutes. Um, Sandra says, I usually cry almost every day, be it happy or sad tears. So I'm going to go with the 20 minutes a day. Carolyn says, randomly cry, cry for 20 minutes. 
Grant says, am I crying for no reason? Yeah, it could be happy, sad, or just like, because you just, tears just spurt out. Uh, uh, Lone Lover says, cry every day. Terry says, I'd rather cry every day. Tears are very healing. Uh, one can make themselves cry and it's healthier, says Kimberly. Um, ah. Fred says, welcome to my already light you, uh, let's see. To my, oh, this is a different question you're asking. Okay. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that one next time. Um, Gina says, doing great. Thanks, Ken. Cry due to beauty versus sadness and crying is often an emotional release. So cry 20 minutes a day and try to expose yourself to beauty. Good answer. I've been crying since, I've been crying since October. So never cry again. Oh no, Doug G. So does that mean 20 minutes in addition to whatever you need to cry about? Anyways, movies sound, sounds exhausting. Well, in this scenario, you'd be, it'd be a random, you start crying randomly throughout the day one time. Uh, cool styles. Cry every day could be good release. <laughs> Grant, I'm crying for no reason, so I'm pregnant. No. Um. Yeah, everybody give hugs to Deb. Deb G. <laughs> yeah, Grant. Grant, are you pregnant? Are you trying to tell us something? Um. Before I give you my answer. Uh, just remember that next Sunday is going to be another scheduled live stream. That's May 1st. Um, and we are going to have a mystery guest and it's going to be exciting. So next live stream scheduled is going to be next Sunday, May 1st, excuse me, 4 PM Pacific, 7 PM Eastern. Reverend RV says, I'd rather never cry again. Crying usually involves a tragedy. Uh, that's true. But in this scenario, it could just be for any reason. Robbie says, for sure, cry. Thank you, Grant, for posting that. Yes, be there. All right. Um, <laughs> Grant, Grant knows me. Uh, I would definitely cry for 20 minutes every day. Um, I heard that the more, the people that cry the most live longer because you don't have everything all pent up inside of you. Uh, like somebody said, it's a release. Uh, you can just get it out of you and it's very healing. You know, crying is very healing. Now I think it'd get super old if you had to cry every day for 20 minutes. Um, especially if it's like, you know, random and you just like, you're at a grocery store or you're, you know, at the library or you're on a first date or something. <laughs> you start crying. <laughs> That'd be weird. If you're on a first date and you just like burst out crying for, and it like 20 minutes is a long time when you're crying. Um, but I still think I would do it because I do like to embrace emotions, you know? And I think we've gotten out of touch with our emotions a lot of times. And it's nice to see that everybody has like a human side. So I would definitely say, uh, I would cry every day just to like cleanse the soul. Martha says, wow, surprised. I would never want to cry again. <laughs> uh, Joanne says, uh, don't know, crying can be healthy sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Fred says, I'm just trying to guess the mystery guest. Oh, I don't think you guys are gonna, gonna guess. Um, Kimberly says, it strengthens the diaphragm. Oh, that's good to know. Um, Gina says, I wouldn't like to ugly cry 20 minutes, but soft weeping. Yes. Soft weeping sounds so lovely. Uh, why are you soft weeping? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just emotional. <laughs> that seems so lovely. But yeah, the ugly cry with the snot and like, just the like, especially if you don't have any tissues with you, that'd be bad. So we'll say it's like a medium cry. Deb G says, thank you all. I may live forever then. Well, you know what? At least there's something good coming off of it. Hey, Travel Grandma, how are you? Where are you, Travel Grandma? Um, I'd rather laugh every day. I mean, yes, for sure, I'd rather laugh every day. That's also good for your soul as well. So get around people and laugh. Be friends and, and get out and enjoy each other's company. Terry says, got to go now. Thanks to you and stuff. Thank you for being here, Terry. Also, real quick before we go, if you have a YouTube channel, 
shout it out in the chat so that people can watch your channel and subscribe. Um, I always like want to be supportive to anybody real, like working on the YouTube channel because it's a lot of work and everyone that's putting in the efforts should be recognized. So if you have a YouTube channel, post it now as we start to say our goodbyes. Um, let's see. Janet says, I think we should get some hints to the mystery guests. Ooh. Oh, like I can't, I can't, I don't want to give it away. You can cry from laughing. I do. That's true too. That's all like, that's always the best when you have like that really deep laugh and you just like start like, just like, ah. Uh, the only hint I'm going to give you is it is uh, a man. That's the only mystery guest guest that you're going to get or hint. So it is a male guest that's coming on next week. And it's going to be great. Um, Reverend Arby, the last time I would drop cry at the drop of a hat was after I recovered from a near-death experience, your soul knows that you almost died. That's true. That's true. Well, good thing you didn't die. Glad you're still here. Oh, San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco is beautiful. Travel Grandma, if you get over to the mountain states, let me know. Um, Mama Mert says, yes, laughing is far better than crying every day. That's true. Robbie says, I won the game. Woo -woo. Um, Kayla says, I laugh at very random things. I do too. And sometimes I just laugh at like, do you guys ever do this where you're just like driving or sitting somewhere and you just think of something that happened and you just laugh out loud. <laughs> sometimes that happens to me. I'll just think of something and I'm like laughing. And it's, it's like, if somebody saw me doing this, they think I was so weird. Fred says the mystery guest is Charlie Brown. I mean, that would be pretty epic if I could get the animated Charlie Brown to come on, but I don't, that's not the one. Um, Grant says, I was supposed to be a mystery guest, but there was a scheduling conflict, but try not to be dis too disappointed with the runner up. <laughs> Grant, I'm going to have Grant on, but we're going to have to schedule that for a, a certain time. Like I'm trying to get like, a bigger spectacular thing when maybe like we hit 50,000 for Grant or Robbie to come on. But you know, the other one's going to be like the only main moderator. So I have to think ahead about that. Um, Robert says, I cry every day that I have to fill up my truck with these gas prices. That's, that's facts. That's facts. I tear up a little bit as well. Thank you, Renata. Thank you so much. <laughs> no more details. Oh, another van lifer, probably mystery guest. I don't know. Could it be the famous Bob Wells? I wish. I'm going to tell you it's not Bob Wells, but if it was Bob Wells, that would be triple, like extra awesome. Um, hopefully in the future, he will be a guest. YouTube is Heather Trek year one updates two times per week. Just getting started. Would love feedback in my comments on how it's going so far. Awesome. Everybody go follow Heather's channel. Um, yeah, we had a couple donations already. Uh, groceries, LR, are embarrassing. Um, I have funny memories. Going all the way up the coast. Oh, awesome. Uh, let's see. Mystery guest, Allison's boyfriend. I wish I had a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. You made me laugh, Allison. You were funny. Thank you. My Facebook group is called Questions About the Bible. Dude, I need to check that out. I love stuff about the Bible. Um, no problem, Heather. Oh, Robbie, coming through with the $20. YouTube takes 30% of this donation grant. <laughs> Cue the links. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. You are so sweet. Uh, let me give you your shout out. Um, I'm going to give you like a few shout outs. Yes. That was epic. Thank you so much, Robbie. You are a true blessing. True, true blessing. Um, what's the nearest stack snack and reach? Probably these tomatoes, this apple or this avocado. Yeah, those are the nearest snacks in my reach. Robbie is awesome. 
yeah, questions about it. And yeah, questions about the Bible sounds like a great thing. Um, okay, awesome. So we had a great live stream today and I'm really, I feel good. I feel like I got some things off my chest. So I'm really excited about what this week has to bring. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for some, some videos and hopefully there'll be great videos. Cause I have, a, I've been filming like a bazillion pieces of content. Um, and if you're not already follow me on TikTok because I don't know if you've noticed, but I've stopped posting shorts on YouTube for now. I think they need to do a few more things to get it together on YouTube. Um, so I'm basically just posting shorts on TikTok, sometimes Instagram. Um, and follow me on Instagram if you like, you know, want to stay in touch. Um, boop -boop -boop. If I'm ever the mystery guest, I'll need a couple of weeks notice and no brown M&Ms in my dressing room. Also, you better have really good makeup department. <laughs> I'll put, I'll make notes of that, uh, of your contract. Uh, I want to shout out on the Melon app. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's give you. Can you guys hear it? Thank you, Robbie. Those are food. Gina wants to know about snacks. Okay, so my closest snack is gonna be in my cabinet and it's probably gonna be my tortilla chips. I have salsa in my fridge, so chips and salsa is probably like the closest snack to me. Um, oh, Jana says, hoping for some jelly beans or something. I don't, oh, you know what, I, I did stop uh, in for and um, where was I? Grand Junction, Colorado. They have. Um, have you guys heard of Enstrom? It's like the famous um, toffee um, company. They make toffee. Uh, I stopped by there and I. They have a little section like Seas Candy where you can just like pick individual chocolates. So I bought like four or five pieces of chocolate and I've been just like taking little nibbles off of it because I'm trying not to like just eat all of it. Um, and the, I have some in my fridge, so that's as probably as close as I have to like something like super sweetsy right now. Cause I'm trying to keep junk, like too much junk out of my van, but I do, I do have some chocolate in there. Um, melon app is the app that I use for the live stream. I know it was a little disappointing in the snacks. I know, I know. I got to work on my snack game. Um, cinnamon things from taco taco smell. <laughs> Yo, oh, the, um, the little cinnamon twists. Those are pretty good. Okay. Um, oh, Renata, you got your all dressed chips. I love it. Adventure van man. It's a good guess, but no, uh, coming, commenting on one video a week. Awesome. Oh, I see. Thanks. Grant. I will see. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap it up, and let me just read these real quick. Where is a good snack? Seize candy. I need to get off of unhealthy snacks. I love the donut holes at Del Taco. Oh, I love all those snacks. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to stay off the unhealthy snacks. Um, sometimes I do get a cookie or two on the road, but I've been trying to do my best to do better. All right, so we've had a great live stream. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your, like, so much support and love for each other and for me and the channel. I thank you for being so understanding, so loving and caring. And it's like the best part of my week is being here with you guys. And I appreciate you. Oh, Kimberly, thank you so much for the Fortnite and Taco Fund. I love that. Super chat, super chat squad. Don't know hype, like Robbie says. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Kayla said I had donuts this morning. Yum. Thank you, Allison. Love the snack. Like, awesome. Thank you, Gina. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have an excellent week until I see you. Maybe I'll be doing a live stream during the week. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next Sunday. Have an excellent week, and I love you all. If somebody hasn't told you this week, I love you. You are loved, and, you know, 
life is greater with each other. So thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Time to fire up the barbecue. Yes. All right. Bye.